Over the past few weeks, I've been looking up all these 777 videos on YouTube by all these other great creators and seeing all these long haul routes. You got 11, 12, 13, 14 plus hour flights, but that got me thinking with all these long flights, what about the shortest? A quick Google search reveals these two city pairs to be the shortest route at just a straight line distance of 14 nautical miles. Looks like Air France serves this route on their 777, so let's try to do this in the sim. Let's get started on the upper panel. For today's flight, we are using SimBrief. It's going to recreate the real world flight plans, and I'll do my best to fly those. In the back, you'll hear the passengers. Uh, that is thanks to the GSX Pro mod. I'm still trying to get used to that, so it's kind of hit or miss for me right now. Some features work, some don't. I plan to fast forward most of the pre-flight thing since uh, a lot of you, I don't think, enjoy it, but uh, if you do and want to see more, let me know. So I'm expecting this flight to take about 15 minutes. Uh, we're going to be cruising at an altitude of only 5,000 feet, so we'll quickly set up the FMC and get ready to go. And there's GSX with the regional accent, very nice. Now we'll do our engine start checklist, and just when I was hopeful, it looks like GSX won't be pushing us back today, but that's okay since we have enough room to power out. We'll get the number one engine stable and we'll be ready to go. We're lined up with runway 23 and ready to go. I'll do a short field takeoff, keeping the brakes on until the engines are stable. Let's spin those up now. And let's go. Positive rate, gear up. I'll throw on some music in the background so you won't have to be subjugated to my voice for this entire flight, but thankfully it should only be like 15 minutes.
And now we'll start that left hand turn over the city. Uh, we're gonna try to get over the water if we can. Uh, we'll take the river and uh, head out toward, uh, well, our destination. It should be, once we complete the turn, it should be there on our right. Okay, once we get level off here, I'm gonna try to turn on the autopilot. Uh, first thing we'll do is get the MCP speed, uh, say like 250, and uh, we'll try to get the autopilot on, and uh, once, we, once we get it on, we'll go into the FMS and set up the approach. So right now I have us on vectors, uh, hopefully going to join the uh, LNAV path we have. Uh, what we'll do is we'll just uh, go direct to this uh, initial approach fix, which is on the actual approach. We'll go to LNAV and it should swing us over, and now that the plane's flying, that'll give us time to get set up in the FMC. And we have an altitude restriction coming up here at, uh, God, I believe it's about 3,500. So we're going to set 3,000 in the MCP. That's going to get us started down. I'll flight level change it, and hopefully the plane can figure out its life there. Get the anti-ice. Uh, well, yeah, we'll put it on auto. It's probably where it should have been anyway. Okay, so we're on thrust hold. I have no idea why the power is coming up, so we're just going to turn off the auto throttles, bring the throttles to idle, uh, where they should have been in thrust hold, and we'll try... let's get it going down. We'll try to switch it to flight level change again, and yeah, I don't trust this autopilot. So the runway should be off our right wing. I wonder if I can I can see. No. Uh. 
And now we're starting our base turn. Looks like uh, should be good on our altitude, slowly bringing the speed back, bringing in a notch of flaps uh, at a time here. Should have plenty of room once uh, we turn base to final, but never hurts to get uh, slowed down too early because I've sometimes uh, not had the best luck with some of these approaches. Turning final now, uh, get the approach armed. We are below the glide slope. Localizer should be coming in in a moment, and uh, hopefully this will be an easy approach. And yeah, I need to bring in some more power. Completely forgot about my throttles uh, not being an auto throttle there, so we'll bring the power back, bring in another notch of flaps there. And looks like we'll just level off here and wait for the glide slope. And now we're kind of going all over the place here. Okay, we're just going to take the autopilot off. It's just going to start S-turning us. Uh, but we're just about on the glide slope. Little right of course here, so uh, we'll just kind of hold this heading correct for that. And wow, my joystick is sensitive. Okay, I'll bring the gear down, start following the glide slope, and should see, I think we see the runway there about uh, 12 o'clock. speed puts us very close to our max flap speeds. We're just holding right below our overspeed there. Yeah, you can see there in the on the uh, airspeed tape. Okay, so probably bring a little less power and just kind of stay just below that. And uh, yeah, it looks like the runway there is uh, 12 o'clock. Looking good on the glide slope. Uh, probably have to, whoa, probably have to hand and fly the rest of this approach. Uh, we won't try to turn the autopilot now, but it uh, looks like we're all configured. Gear, flaps, brakes. So if I'm looking at that right, that looks like a displaced threshold, so it looks like we're kind of low. I'll level off a little bit and uh, then just start a gradual descent.
And here we are. Wasn't the prettiest approach, but we made it planes in one piece, and looks like we're the only one here, so there's no witnesses. I'll probably fast forward uh, the taxi back since there's not really much. I don't think there's any jetways or anything. But that'll do it for today. Who knows, maybe next time we'll do a long haul route just like the other guys. But till then, thanks for watching.